this is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We are back out here at this apartment building and what we're working on today is we're going to be doing concrete across here as a barrier. So, like you saw in those previous videos, all the water comes down here and it just hangs right up against the building here. And what it ends up doing is it ends up going down into the foundation. So it's going to be pretty tricky but we're going to try to get a, a downward slope going around the corner here and out. So we got to take these we got to take these ballers out and put them back. We got to get all this cleaned up. It's going to be quite a job out here. Welcome to part three of this video series. This is Sean and this building here on the back, the water just comes down and it's been hanging around the back side of this building. So these two residents came out as soon as we started doing our drainage work in the courtyard area and they were like, what about our flooding? So apparently these sliding glass doors here, the water just goes right into the unit. And in conjunction with that, they have a lot of water that just stands and hangs right here and nowhere to go. So we've got a couple other buildings uphill of this and a couple parking lots uphill of it. And so this is the water here that I think is flowing underneath the slab and then hitting the party wall, the wall between the two units on that downhill unit and coming through onto the courtyard. And so I spent at least a couple months over here coming back after rains long periods of no rain and trying to really figure out what was going on here and try to figure out how to, to solve this. And so the new property owner has been just putting in like a superhuman effort fixing these, these units all up. And so finally he got around to getting us started on this back, back side of the building. So there's a view of the courtyard that we did fix. And so that's all going really, really well. Now we're going to be doing the, trying to get this water that's coming out of the, the wall here. And so that water coming out of the wall right there underneath that fire extinguisher is going into this downhill unit. And so that unit cannot start yet on the renovation because of this water here. So take a look right there. That's where it comes out. Here's another shot of the inside of that downhill unit. I blew this wall open just to take a look at what was inside. But this corner still has water hanging in it. And I think the water's flowing underneath the slab and hitting that wall and then coming through. And if you look at where this water is coming out of the, the wall here, it looks like it's right behind that party wall. A lot of people commented in part two of this video series where I first introduced this problem on the back side of the building. And some people mentioned that a French drain would be in order back here. But the problem with doing a French drain here is a French drain works by creating a new low point for the water to fill up a trench and so there's always going to be water in the trench of a French drain. Now in a condition like this where the foundation is lower than that trench would be you cannot do a French drain here. That would just make the problem worse because you would just be getting that water encouraging it to go deeper where it's already got a pathway through the foundation. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to keep the surface water on the surface and we're also going to protect the foundation. So again, we're going to do concrete here and we're going to do a channel drain along the concrete because we have virtually no fall and then we're going to wrap it around the building. And so that's not only going to collect the material and the water, it's also going to, the concrete's going to form a waterproof barrier up against the foundation for us. This is the first load in the new dump truck. Oh shoot, there's a level in there.
Okay, I'm back here at my place with the first load of dirt this truck has been hauling. So, a couple things. I want to see if it'll lift it for one thing. That's, a, that's probably about eight yards, maybe eight tons. So, let's see how it does. Did you guys see that? That is a dump truck right there. That's what I've been looking for. That is awesome, I'm so excited. You saw how easily and fast it dumped it? Nice. Bro, go over there, man. Yeah, right there. Okay, stay like that. You got it, mijo? Okay, ma. We're laying out our channel drain here. And it's probably going to have to go down a little bit, but we're just trying to rough it in. This is so flat across here, it's going to be real challenging. All right, I took that first load. Antonio's got a load, and Lynn's got a load on the other dump truck over there. Dirt going back to my place. Here we have run a couple of string lines, and we've checked our level, and we're trying to get a good start here. So the far edge of this concrete is going to be a little bit higher than the channel drain, so that's gonna help direct the water into the channel drain. And then we're gonna go higher along the foundation as well. So getting started with the channel drain can be pretty difficult. 
And that's what we're working on here, trying to get a good start. Water's going that way barely. It's, it's good. It's good, yeah. Because so, it, it's coming this way. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So whatever comes this way, a little Goes you have to you got you have to go a little bit. Because it's still coming down. Right, coming down. Yeah. Because you you wanna that there down. Yep. So it's good, right? Yeah, Huh. Okay, no dale for We're bringing in some of the sand rock. This is what's gonna form in the base. And we've been working really hard to make sure this is falling the correct way across here because it's so flat across here. So once we get the sand rock in, that'll let us really dial in where we want the channel drain to be located. And again, if the ground was sloping down, we could just throw the channel drain on the ground and it'd be going downhill. We're gonna have to create our downhill slope here because it's so flat. What we're doing right now is we're just kind of feathering out this sand rock. This is going to be our base material. So they got a guy on the ground here. He's kind of guiding the operator on where he wants it. And then the two guys are going to feather it out with shovels. So this is a really crucial part with the channel drain, getting all this base right.
Risa. 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 Hey Miguel. How's it doing? Very good, baby. If you see me somewhere, say hi, baby. I hope I'm. Thank you so much. She will see me. You know what you said. We are finished for today. So we pretty much got to the edge of that building right there. And tomorrow we got to get around the corner, get, get our channel drain finished, and hopefully we're mining our fall really well. It's going to be a tight one, I think. But we got another load in the dump truck here. Another load in my new dump truck over there. And the concrete guys are getting loaded up too. out here it's the next day and things are moving pretty quickly I just bought a load of sand rock and we're getting things hopefully finished off up on this side and then we're starting over on this side so we still have to turn this corner and go down the hill but things are going pretty well so far
I never would have thought that little saw would cut that thing, but look at that. What do you think, Miguel? Very good, baby. Yeah. <coughs> My name is Teacher. Teacher. I want to pick it back. I want to call Brady to look good. Yeah. Grab a shovel, buddy. Huh? I said, grab a shovel. You start now? Yeah, I'm doing it. You, yeah. baby? Go ahead, man. Tomorrow be raining. Don't call me. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> All right, we're working on our channel drain. Our channel drain is perfect. But what we ended up doing was we had to tweak this down a little bit, so now this is too high. So we're kind of having to undo some of the work we've already done. But now's the time to get it right, that's for sure. Okay, we got this scraped down a little bit, so it's never a great thing to have to undo work, but it's a whole lot better than having to redo work. So the channel drain is the important piece. That's the that's got to be correct for it to flow. I'll talk more about that coming up. Yeah, I couldn't drive it. It was a five. It was a six speed. You didn't like it. I couldn't drive it. Uh, stick. Yeah, stick. I couldn't. No, I could not drive it. Ready? All right, down. Push it down. That, that it. Oh, we forgot to check our level. Yes, I know. What's it doing, Miguel? Go that way. How much? Like a... Uh, Which way? No, right, right there is, is like a like a one eight. Okay. Laca, laca. Laca, laca. <coughs> you say you say you don't want too much, right? Yeah, that's good. Like, see, like a little eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, because you have your way, see. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Fine. No concrete, leave it like this. The water coming everywhere. <laughs> All right, it is it. Where's your other piece here? What about this one, no? no? They put some sand rock in there. Yeah. Other piece is... Behind you. All right, we are finished for today. We are just about ready to pour. I'm back out here today, it rained all morning, and I wanted to take a look at this. And so what used to happen is the water would just be like five inches deep right over here, 
and even this this what we did here is allowing the water to get out of here so this is what I wanted to happen the water to all flow away and not be standing up against the building so I wanted to take a quick look and see we really really worked hard to get this grade right so the water would flow by itself without getting into the channel drain and that's exactly what it's doing look at this so this is really really good news look at how much water fl flowed through here look at this and so once we get concrete in here of course there won't be this drop off right here anymore So I want to check on the inside courtyard and see if there's still water popping out of the foundation like there used to be. My feeling is there is not going to be. So let's see. So look at this, there's no water popping out over here anymore, I'm just popping out of this hole right here. And I wonder if there's anything popping out on the inside wall. I used to know the cone here but I forgot it. This has been working really really well for keeping all the water off of this unit right here so that's been good this has got to stay clean now for it to work we started this part of the job about six months or so after we did the courtyard and part of the reason for that is I was really trying to gather more information and make sure that that we had a good understanding of what was going on so if I went out there at the start of a heavy rain there would be no water coming out of there if I went out there after periods of no rain, there'd be no water coming out of the wall. And so the water was only flowing out of the wall after a substantial rain and a prolonged rain, and usually when there was standing water along that back area. And so that told me that that standing water was providing the hydrostatic pressure that was pushing the water underneath the slab and causing it to pop out under the under that one unit there. And so, once we got that all figured out, then it was trying to formulate a plan. The idea of having concrete in a really, really flat area means you can get the concrete sloping, barely sloping, and, and the water will still flow. Also, taking the concrete all the way up against the building means that the building is going to be protected from water, from service water. And so we did get some gutters put on that building, but maintenance over there is a little bit is a little bit lacking because they're really really busy working on everything else with that with that whole uh, complex and so what happens when the gutters clog up and the gutters overflow so that's why i put concrete all the way up against the the foundation so it protects it and so we worked really really hard to get that concrete or get the get the the pipes and everything and the concrete eventually sloping down by itself and so what that means is when the channel drain clogs up, when the gutters clog up and overflow, the thing is still going to flow. The concrete itself is going to carry the water around and down the hill there. And so I really wanted to make this drainage solution almost maintenance proof or lack of maintenance proof, I guess I should say. And so we got everything formed up in this part of the video and now it's ready for concrete. So that'll be the next installment of the series. So until then, I hope you've enjoyed watching this series so far. Thanks for watching.